mic. You see right here, there's a little switch. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought I, I was hope. just here for the looks and you're talking. Oh. And a big thank you to Desert Financial Credit Union for sponsoring the KRAM Community Spotlight Program. Happy Hump Day, everyone. That's right, it is a Wednesday and it is time to talk about the 8th Annual Payson Book Festival, but this year there's a little twist, which is really cool. It's the Payson Arthur, author, I have such a hard time with that word sometimes, the Payson Author and Artist Festival. And joining me today are a couple local artists, Elizabeth Fowler and Barbara Zurinsky. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you both doing this morning? Happy to be here, grateful. Hey, okay. there we go, and Barb, it was funny, we were laughing just before we went on the air because you thought you were just going to be here and not talk at all today? Come on! Come on! How could you do that? I mean, you have, you have to watch. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're, you're No, but I, I thought she was doing the talking. I was just sitting there. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's we funny. got it all mixed up. Um, Apparently, don't, you're doing the talking. Yeah, oh, so okay. uh, boy. Uh, yeah, Barb's like, okay. don't, don't challenge me. I uh, I can do it. I'll show you. I can just sit here. Right? <laughs> so what do you know about us? Tell um, us. Well, hey, here we go. I can tell you uh, a little bit. Uh, let me see. Elizabeth Fowler. Um, you see her uh, handprint uh, all over town, different places with murals. Uh, one right here on the Sawmill Theater that uh, you were involved with, and uh, you have your name. Don. Yeah, and um, Judy. And Judy. Judy Holcomb. Judy Hol Holcomb. 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 I think, isn't it? Or Holbrook. Brook. Oh, Holbrook. A different Judy, not Holcomb. Yeah. Holbrook. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So, uh, and then I believe um, were you involved with a mural on the wall by Messinger Funeral Home? Yes. Yeah. That absolutely. One? A bunch of people. Twenty artists. Twenty Manette artists. And I, like, Manette Hart. And yes. I, he yeah. was the president of RCA, by mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. Um, we, did, we pulled in a bunch of artists and did that together. Did that one, and then also on the ERA Young Realty Building on 87, Highway 87, the big mural of like Arizona, I think, and uh, we're showing Rim Country, different mm -hmm. things in Rim Country. Sasquatch. Yeah, the Mogollon Monster. Yeah. <laughs> Mogollon Monster, and uh, I think uh, was some rodeo on there. Yes. And a uh, mountain biker. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So different activities. So. You passed your quiz. There we go. And also involved with, uh, I believe because you bought bowls, Rim Country Bowls. Have you involved with Rim Country Bowls? No. No. Uh, yes. No? I am. Totally. Okay. But, but not making bowls. Bar I, I used to. Um, Barb is, is leads our connection to the Rim Country Bowls. Actually, we call it Empty Bowls. Empty Bowls. Empty Bowls. Empty That's why it threw me. Yeah, um, sorry. Uh, yes, we have absorbed, because those are wonderful artists and dear friends and talk, Barb. Yeah, that's right. And Barb, I don't know as much like art-wise, oh. but our sons were always hanging out together yep. when they were young, so that's yes. how Barb and Barb is I... an amazing sculptor and yeah. ceramicist. Yeah, and I have one of her hearts. I have a piece hanging. It's in our bedroom. Yes. Uh, the heart right there that I bought for my wife at one of the shows. At the bridge. At the bridge. That was my first show. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, it was the brunch at the bridge? It was. It, it wasn't the, yes, it like, was. yeah, it wasn't yes. the like fancier dinner no, one, it was but it was the brunch. The bridge event. Yeah, yeah, brunch at the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember that. Wow, that was your first show. Well, it was my first show. Oh, yeah. that's Barb cool. also serves on the board of the Humane Society. That's and right. she's vice president of RCA. Okay, RCA being Rim Country Artists. Yes. There we go. So, um, and Empty Bowls. You're going to tell us a little bit uh, about the Empty, Empty Bowls. Empty Bowls is a wonderful program. It's international now. It was started in the 1990s, and their vision was to not have people go hungry. Mm -hmm. you know? So what we do here in town is we have many, many artists 
that donate their work, donate their pieces, mm -hmm. and we have these fundraising events, and we ask for a donation, minimum mm -hmm. donation of $20 for a bowl, and they oftentimes get a coupon from Culver's, who have been very generous with donating mm -hmm. coupons for their concrete ice cream. <laughs> concrete, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Mackey's donates uh, coupons for chili, which is wonderful. We've got tremendous amount of support, and every single penny goes <coughs> to the three food banks mm. in Payson. There we go. And there's no administration fees at all. None. Wow. So, and the last numbers I got, there was over 9,000 people that can't have viable, sustainable food sources for nutrition, and at least a third of them are children. So in this area. Yes, mm -hmm. in Gila County. In Gila and County. our last show, our, our big festival we had last fall, we raised empty bowls, raised 9,000 yep. plus. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. For I, the food banks. And I know I love my bowl. I, I did not get it at one of the empty bowl uh, bowls events because they always sell out. They do. They sell out. If you don't get your ticket right away, you're not going because they're so popular and supported by so many people in the community. But I got a bowl at one of the Twilight Tuesdays. Yes, that's that with the Payson, Yeah, oh, that, uh, wow. with the Payson Farmer's Market when they mm -hmm. did Twilight Tuesday, I think for a couple years they did that. Yes. And at one of them, uh, you know, Empty Bowls was out there and had right. the different bowls and you could pick a bowl out and, you know, pay. Keep showing up. Every drop wow. counts. And, and Barb is at her booth as an artist at, mm -hmm. at the casino this weekend on Saturday. She is also again having an empty bowls table so mm -hmm. there you go and we're talking about the event this saturday um, it's the payson author and artist festival which uh, formerly the payson book festival Correct. but this year incorporating uh, local room country artists into the festival which is great it's you know great that uh, that is happening that collaboration and uh, it's a family friendly event uh there's things for the entire family for children you know there's parents grandparents kid zone kid zone oh yeah we had uh, a let me see i forget her name but she works for the gila county library mm -hmm. and she will be there and she was talking about the activities and the story time Very and everything fun. else and then there are so many um, authors as well. 85. That, that, and authors that write uh, children's books. So a lot of different children's books, but there's uh, westerns, romance novels, uh, sci-fi, um, mystery, everything. And then you have the artwork as well, and a lot of different types of artwork, which is so cool. RCA is, is thrilled to be joining with the Payson Book Festival. We mm -hmm. hope to make this a yearly thing. Um, but as part of what we do at RCA is we want to connect with lots of nonprofits to support their causes and mm -hmm. connect people through art. Mm -hmm. That's our, our huge, that's our mojo. Mm -hmm. our vision. And, yeah. and the more artists join in, the more artists teaching, the more artists showing up, the more everybody sees how viable and important the arts are in their life and what they do to promote and uplift no matter what people are engaged in. Mm -hmm. And we're talking music, theater, yeah. dance. At, at this show, we will only have physical art, but we're very into performance, and we also are looking to collaborate with other creatives and other disciplines, such as authors mm -hmm. and poets and for performance. And mm -hmm. And, and dance and mm -hmm. there's there's just the world is our oyster oh yes 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 art is everywhere it is and art in action and you can again um, check out some of the room country artists at uh, the Payson author and artist festival it's this Saturday like we said from 9 to 2 30 p.m. at the Madizel Hotel and Casino in the ballroom and then the art exhibits artists will be in the fireside room Excellent, which yes. is just uh, if you go through the ballroom past the restrooms there and then you go into the fireside room and that's where all the artists will be um, you can find out more information about the festival on the PaysonBookFestival.org website uh, you can meet um, all of the authors read about them 
Um, and then I know uh, since this is the first year, it'll probably expand and have you know information about the artists on there and so on. Oh, so, there there is and there information is. on the artists there. Plus, uh, uh, Room Country Artists has a Facebook page. You can find out a whole find out about each of the artists there. Oh yeah, there we go. And uh, the Rim is it Rim Country Artists dot org. Dot org? Easy. Yes. So paceinbookfestival.org um, is where you can go and see a schedule of events for the Saturday's event and so on. And then rimcountryartist.org, you can read about and see and meet all of the artists that are part of Rim Country Artists. I encourage you to go to the Facebook first. That, that would be the best way to find out that information about the artists because it's the most current. Gotcha. Rim Country Artists on Facebook as well. Um, so it's really cool how this collaboration uh, how did it come about how did you know it all come about the artists you know being now um, part of the Peace and Book Festival to make a Peace and Artists or Author and Artist Festival it was a person to person oh how about this idea oh we <laughs> like that idea so then it was the two boards going yeah we like that we like that and I got to be part of that process and I'm grateful for it and I have been a big fan of the festival for years and years, mm -hmm. three, maybe four, um, and volunteered there and got to know those people who are wonderful mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. very like-hearted, incredibly professional uh, and creative people. So why, why not hang out, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And now the artists that are going to be at the Author and Artist Festival, it's good. They're all listed here on the Facebook page uh, and examples of their work so far. You are one yes. um, that um, are going to be there. And tell us a little bit about your artwork. I primarily work in ceramic, but I'm almost always doing a multimedia, adding, adding to ceramic. I, I, I'm not typically one to do bowls mm -hmm. things that are useful in that sense I tend to do more sculptural things gotcha. and and I love doing it I go out in nature and I find found items feathers uh, pieces of metal pieces of wood and I always add that as an element to my pieces as well mm -hmm. a lot of them are very whimsical maybe animal related um, but very organic and earthy I would say wouldn't you mm -hmm. yeah it's different mm -hmm. yeah looking at um, some of the pieces the the bird in the nest with the heart above it mm -hmm. is uh, really cool. It's called Love Nest. Uh. <laughs> and it's actually a jar. You can take the lid off. Well, there we go. So, so bar bar things are, they are functional. Many yeah. of things are functional. I disagree with yeah. Okay, I just So <laughs> it's, a, it's a good mixture, a good combination of yes. some functional and just some pure sculpture. Yes. And uh, wow, so um, someone else that will be there, Jade Lynn. Great jewelry. jewelry, organic also. Yeah, really uh, cool looking jewelry. Uh, Julie Whitworth. Yes, prolific. Many talents. Many, wow, many paintings. Mm -hmm. And uh, painting. some of the paintings that are shown here are really cool. Mm -hmm. She does oil and acrylic, I believe. Primarily. She does both. She does watercolor. Oh, wow. Oh, she wow. does sculptures. Uh huh. Oh, my goodness. She's huh? throwing in macrame. She does miniatures and max. Max's. <laughs> she, mm -hmm. she goes every size, every. She's fun. Wow. wow. She's also on our board. Okay. We're grateful. She's a good membership leader. Gotcha. And then uh, Kathy Walker. Kathy Walker teaches at the college. She's a very disciplined artist. Um, you can just tell it's her work right away. Very uh -huh. distinct style. She does a lot of animals, very clean. Mm. Um, um, and approachable mm -hmm. as well. Like she captures the animals. Uh huh. Hmm. And uh, when you say approachable, you mean as in you want to go look closer. Gotcha. Okay. You the, don't just take it for granted and walk by. You go, whoa. There's a lot to that. Really and her draws technique, you in. Yeah, and mm. the stances, the composition. Mm hmm Well, and I'm sure most of the artists or all of the artists are approachable as well. Oh, as people. Humans, yes, absolutely. Because, but I'm saying her art. Yeah, is, because of course uh, she's approachable. they they're at the festival, and that's one of the great things about being um, at the festival is um, you get a chance to talk to all of right. the authors and the artists right. and uh, ask them about their artwork, um, about 
notes, uh, you know, the books, all of it, just the creative process. Yes. Uh, you know, um, how you got started, um, little tips, tricks, and, and oh, so on. Oh, that's the best. This yeah. is to find out about everybody's creative process. It's just so fun. Well, yeah. I find that that also encourages people to maybe explore their own little artistic Absolutely. Some Absolutely. people don't think that they have a talent. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of our big missions is to express to people and bring that out so they're not fearful mm -hmm. of trying. Every, yeah. Everybody, we, we know everybody's creative. Everybody's so we just, yeah. We're here to remind people. And it doesn't have to be painting. Yes. Yeah. There's odd many, so many forms. Well, and that's something that has changed, I don't want to say recently, but over the probably last few years, it seems like with Rim Country Artists is the expansion. Oh, yeah. The expansion of just not the traditional mediums, you know, the paintings, the pottery, the jewelry. That was last January. Last January. Gotcha. <laughs> so it like, is fairly recent. Yes, yes. We were Ace and Art League, now yeah. a Rim Country Artist. The mm -hmm. new name goes with the new vision. Gotcha. The expanded yeah. vision. Yeah. Very good foundation with Ace and Art League. Hats off to all the our predecessors. So yeah. we're just we took that launch pad and off we go. There you go. And so that's where, as you mentioned, Elizabeth, uh, you're looking at uh, Rim Country artists, um, including you know music and dance Absolutely. and writing, poetry, Absolutely. whatever, All anything creative. Yeah, and, and artisans too. Anything of great quality, people who apply themselves and give of themselves mm -hmm. and, uh, by hand and through, through themselves. Uh, one of our top goals in Room Country Artists is to build an art center for our town. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're on that movement. And mm. There will be news coming up. Hey, there we um, go. Progress for that. We're looking for lots of support in that. But meantime, we're treating Room Country as our art center because truthfully it is. It's mm -hmm. made up of the artists mm -hmm. and the people that do they do art for mm -hmm. and with and the people who appreciate it and it's all here right mm -hmm. now. We just we're just shining spotlights on it is our goal. Mm -hmm. And and in I'll continue for a oh, second. Yeah. I'm on a roll. Um, Keep going. We, we do classes uh -huh. to invite people to participate in art. Uh -huh. And people who don't think they can, oh, they go, oh, oh, this, this is, is fun. fun. <laughs> oh, this is good. We can do this. Yeah. Oh, that's all? It uh -huh. is? And it's, it's, it's a blissful moment for everybody uh, yeah. just to spread the love of art and what it can do for a person in the community as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it um, is great, and it's very it's interesting to me how similar it is, whether you're talking to an artist or, or an author, because oh. having done, you know, a lot of interviews over the years with authors, and how they share, you know, what it means to them, you know, writing, and some it's, you know, a lot deeper than others, or maybe they share a little bit more, mm -hmm. but that expression. You know, that's a big part of it, them expressing, you know, uh, feelings or something they have inside of them that they're letting it out. Right. And it's let out through that creation of yes. a book, a poem, right. Right. a painting, a sculpture, jewelry, uh, dance, um, acting, theater, whatever it is, but that's a release. And when uh, people share that, it's very interesting, you know, and it's very cool to hear that yeah. and just what it means to them and the really big impact it has on their life. A lot of people get into on the set. zone. Yeah, yeah. Set, you know, they get into a zone, like, whether it's bike riding. If people, everybody knows that what the zone is, where they like feel sports. connected yeah. to themselves. They can yeah. be connected to where they are. Mm. So our goal is to share that through art. Yeah. Can say something. Well, it's so good for the community. I mean, they've done studies for years about mm -hmm. what an art center can bring to a community as far as commerce goes, commerce goes, and mm -hmm. for businesses. Like, having a mural in a building certainly attracts me. I want to go see what that business mm -hmm. is all about and who the artist is. Mm -hmm. So it brings more people into town. Tourism. If we had an art center and more festivals and public events, it would bring a lot of tourism here, a lot mm -hmm. of money for the town, and cultural, cultural enrichment, I think. And when mm -hmm. people are 
culturally happy and creating beautiful spaces, they're happier in mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. Peace is so much stress. And, and it connects people, it, despite yes. whatever their politics or religion or their skin color, or any dispositions they have, it, it, it's like it's a, it's a neutral, wonderful shared space. Mm -hmm. And our goal is also, along with many other people and nonprofits and the town itself, is to help build up Main Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cultural Arts District. That's our focus. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I can relate to, and uh, I, um, I guess in my world, music. So yeah, music, absolutely. and you know, you see how music um, just brings people together, and in every society and culture, yes. there's yes. music. But art is the same thing. Absolutely. It's the exact same with art. Um, yeah, there's, there's... Well, music is art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and music is just one form. The one yeah. form, there's so but, many forms. Yeah. That's what we keep trying to say, and it's so much. Yeah, so again, talking with Elizabeth Fowler and Barbara Zarinsky, local artists and members of Rim Country Artists, that will be, well, Barbara will be, at, are you going to be there? I'll be there. You will be there. I'll All be right. there, not Elizabeth? showing my art, but no. I'll be there. For Elizabeth, both will be at the Payson Author and Artist Festival. And that is this Saturday, 9 to 2.30 p.m. at the Madizel Hotel and Casino in the ballroom. And then also in the fireside room is where all of the artists will be. Um, let's go through a few more of the artists that will be there. Um, Emmy Dereese. Emmy Dereese. Dereese. Yes, Emmy great Dereese. photographer with a, a lot of professional experience, mm. not only in photography, but she has had galleries and she's worked for other artists. She promotes people. She's a very... Um, Heart, heartfelt mm -hmm. uh, artist. She throws herself deeply into her photography and augments it. Um, she's got a lot of skills, and her her photography is pretty stunning. Mm. You know, I, I'm very happy she's part of our our show. Wow! And that um, I guess makes me think of another organization here in town of artists, RC3. Um, you know, Rim Country Camera Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, or RC three, I like that RC three, <laughs> RC cubed. I don't know if uh, what the official term is, but um, they do their annual calendar. Yep. They're at a lot of events, which is uh, also a donated. They donate yeah. all their proceeds. Art, yeah. art serves so much. Yeah, so um, that is another great group of artists yep. um, that are very active in the community right. and doing a lot. So that is cool. Uh, Felicia McCormick. She's fun. She she does so many different things and has a lot of skill. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're happy to have her join us. This is her second show with her RCA. Second show. Okay. Um, and then Janice Hoyt. Now she's been around a little bit longer. I yeah. Think, huh? She's done a few shows. Most people know of her as a school teacher yeah. in fourth grade yeah. at JRE. And if yeah. you've been her student, you've been lucky. Yes. <laughs> lucky, lucky. I hear rave reviews about her, though I never was her student. Uh -huh. I think I'm older. Than she. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, she's a really fine watercolor. It's a very mm -hmm. distinctive style. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Very serene, beautiful. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, then Dorothy Perry. Oh, who, extraordinary uh, person. Yeah, very interesting. Um, just uh, with, uh, I don't want to say jewelry, but with mosaic work. No, mosaic no, work. Tile work. Tile work. work. It's, it's all tile. tile. Mosaic. Oh, oh she, she's so creative. But it is like jewelry. It yeah. is. She handpicks from all over the world her tiles and pieces yep. that she uses for her very, very functional pieces. Yes. They're, wow. they're fabulous. I, some I are decorative, know. some are decorative. I saw a butterfly, which is yeah. a decorative one, but then a chair as well. Oh, yeah. A chair that Furniture. She She'll have a yeah. lot at our show. She, and I have to I kind of, well, we're fond of her for many reasons, but she's also our secretary for RC. Oh, okay. And she's done a bang up job creating our newsletter and keeping keeping our thoughts in order. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, um, also the artwork, I want to mention, um, because we talk about um, when we're talking with authors that their books are for sale mm -hmm. at the festival, it's the same with the artists, correct? Absolutely. That the artwork is for sale at this festival as well. I have one other thing to yeah. add, if, excuse me. Um, we have somebody not on one of those uh, listings mm -hmm. who is the Chris Levitro, mm. and she represents the Strawberry Patchers, another oh. nonprofit, and, and they're going to have 
pieces there. That, like, not, I don't know if she's going to have her full quilts, but yes. she will have lots of saleable items that are made by the quilters, and every bit of that goes to charity. Nice. Not one bit is collected by the artists. Yes. And so we're thrilled to have uh, Chris Levitro there with the strawberry patches as well. Oh, wow. And she'll, they'll be right next to the empty bowls with bar. Mm -hmm. So the two, the two groups together. Yes. Um, and then Sherry Taus. Yes, another fabulous, fabulous photographer. Her second show as well. Um, Deb Schwalm, who has been yeah. uh, at a lot of different shows, I believe, uh, has been here in the, for a while in the country, right? Well, this is my introduction to Deb. Oh, really? Yes. And it, though she may have showed with Pace and Art League, yeah. it was before my time. I've just joined since we've become, as we became, we're both founding members of RCA. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, so my my first meet of her. Okay. She has really distinctive art, and it's batik people who mm -hmm. knew, right? Mm -hmm. She paints with batik. Mm. Okay, and then uh, Roxanne Emblay. Everybody knows Roxy. Nice. Yeah. Roxy yeah. teaches at the college. She's an acrylic artist. Um, she'll be decorating and um, making our hallway down to the fire mm. room beautiful. Nice. And her sister Susie will be a volunteer. Okay. I um, have to say hi to uh, Simone uh, Casio, uh, Cosio, uh, watching. Hi ladies and Chris, great event at the bridge. Uh, she was talking about, yeah, the brunch at the bridge. That was a great event. And um, she's with the Small Business Development Association, SB, yes. or yes. Small Business Center, I think, SBC. Yes. Yeah, SBC. Hey, Simone. Yeah, so good morning, Simone. Thanks for watching. And you know, it is, it's like after 10. Oh my goodness. We're just, you were on a roll. Uh -oh. We were on a roll. Uh -oh. You even, you did a little a talking. Chair. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a rolling chair. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Fun at Chris's so. office. <laughs> but yeah, we'll make you snort. <laughs> you did that last time, too. It's, it's good. It's okay. That's Embrace happy. it. It's happy. a happy snort. We're all just happy little snorters here. It's good. <laughs> I did that the other day too. So it's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where you just, uh, you just, you, you can't catch yourself, you know. And uh, it's just something is so funny and it yep. catches you and you just boom. And uh, before you know it, yeah, the snort. You sure for people and you just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not on the spot or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I know. Hey, if the worst, I turn a little red barb. Uh, you know, if that's the worst, oh, come, come on now. That's not bad. Uh, uh, so, um, Payson, author and artist festival this Saturday, 9 to 2.30 p.m. at the Metazel Hotel and Casino. Again, there'll be 85, you said authors? Mm -hmm. How many artists? 12, 12, 12 artists. Yeah. Uh, so... Just uh, a lot of great artwork, you know, and a lot of great people. Uh, can, meet can the people know, that, people. you know, create. The uh, people creative. are the best. Yeah. It's all about the I people. I think so. The and energy. there's air conditioning too, people, so yeah. Yes, because <laughs> it is uh, forecasted to be a hot one. Oh, right. I mean, I think what I saw this morning, like 105, yes, like uh, tying a record. Uh, from 1998, they were saying. Wow. Yeah, so 104, 105. So. Well, come on in, people. Yeah, right. so, yeah. Air we're going to have so much fun. We will have fun. Yes. Look forward to seeing everybody there. All right, well, thank yes. you so much for thank coming you, on today. And, um, yeah, thank you, Barb. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Come on, no. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, you guys listening and watching can make it out uh, this weekend. Uh, I know you'll have a great time. And again, it's for all ages, so uh, children, uh, bring the kids. They can have a great time in the kids zone. Well, time to get back to the music right now. Uh, before that, though, get a quick update from the National Weather Service. And trying to bring up, there it goes, the computer, a little slow. I guess uh, maybe the heat's affecting it as well. <laughs> but uh, after the weather, we have some psychedelic furs, Peter Gabriel, Billy Squire, and more. But first, here's that quick update from the National Weather Service. All right, guys. See you later.